when we clean out our computer or other electronics, we tend to turn to what? Jeff, any guesses? A uh, can of compressed air. Compressed air. Yeah. Yep. A can of compressed air. Right? Uh, we've all been there. Um, anybody who's worked on computers, this is kind of what we're used to using. Yeah, and it's the go-to. Yeah, mm -hmm. the fact is, is that you don't even think twice. This is kind of what you go and grab. But here's the thing. What do you see? Danger. Danger. <laughs> Keep out of reach of children. Extremely flammable. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of warning signs Explosive all over this warning. thing. And, and sometimes when you're working on cleaning your computer out or something like that, it can actually squirt like a moisture. Yeah, it's a weird watery thing. Yeah. 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 Which to me, like, I don't particularly want that getting into my computer. Oh, and as it turns out, this is not actually full of compressed air at all. What? Oh. It's like flammable gases and a mix of all kinds of serious? chemicals and everything else. Yeah. Oh, I'm completely serious here, Jeff. No um, so John Shearer set out to provide an alternative. Okay. And John is joining us here to talk about his canless air product. John, thank you so much for being here on the show with us this week. You're welcome. I appreciate you having me. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself right out the gate? Just, uh, I'd love to know a little bit about your backstory and where you come from and how you found yourself developing a product as an alternative to this canned compressed air. Well, well, I, I taught computers for, uh, with video professor for 20 years and I did that and got out of that. Um, and a guy came to me with an idea. Long story short, it's canless air is the idea. Mm. I took the product and redesigned it, re-engineered it, um, and it is what it is today. It's what I believe you have in your hand probably. I'm, I'm going to grab it here for, for us, John. Um, so here it is. This is the canless air system. I've got the X3 Hurricane. Thank you very much, John, for sending that to us. You have this one. Yes, that's right. And so what I want to show you is that the footprint between a can of canned compressed air and the canless air is roughly the same. So on a shelf, this is virtually the same. But when I think about like what I want to what I want to use if I'm environmentally conscious is something like a compressor. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Which takes up a massive amount of space compared to something like this or this. Um, why does it really matter? And, and maybe before I even ask that question, John, I think I mentioned at the top of, of our discussion here as a computer geek myself, as a computer user um, and a technician, I'm always using this kind of thing, the, the compressed, right. the traditional compressed air. And I never think twice about it. OK, so consider that like. That's readily available. I can pick that up at any ready shop and any computer shop is selling that. And as a computer guy, I've never thought twice about it. Right. And then along comes canless air system and starts to make me think, well, maybe I should be thinking about the environmental impact. Can you tell us a little bit about what is dangerous about these like compressed air dusters and, and, and how the products differ? Well, what you have is a, 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 a bomb actually in your hand. And I mean, literally, yeah. um, when there, that can, if that was exposed in, uh, we're in Arizona, if that was left in your car in the summer for an hour or two, it would explode. Um, it's, it's very dangerous. The, the thing that you, in getting our product, you must have realized, you must see that, that, our product can do everything canned air can do, and it runs for a long time. Mm -hmm. It doesn't freeze up because that can of canned air has dangerous chemicals in it. And if – did you use canned air on your camera lenses? Yeah, I've used it on camera lenses, on computer keyboards, on servers, on the inside, on hey, the outside, everything, yeah. I hope that you won't use canned air anymore because one of the worst things – uh, to use canned air on camera lenses, you can ruin the lens. Really? Because you know how canned air sometimes spits out liquid? Yeah, that's a concern for me um, on the inside of a computer or something. I think about Yes, if like, it gets, well, if it, for sure, if it gets on a camera lens, it'll ruin it. Wow. Huh. It'll ruin a camera lens. 
What, we have a lot of camera shops, a lot of camera people buying our product because it's safe. Yeah. It's just blowing air. It's just, it, you know, air coming out of here and you can turn it upside down or sideways. It doesn't matter. That you can't. If you, you have can't, you ever yeah. turned the canned air um, upside down? Uh huh. That's when the liquid comes out. The liquid comes out. You're correct. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And so, and, and it freezes up. You know that you, that can after a while gets very cold. Yeah. What causes that, John? That's the chemicals in there. And turning it upside down, if you sprayed it on, you can get frostbite from that. If you turned it upside down and sprayed it on your skin for a little bit, you can get frostbite. So there's many reasons that I developed this product. I mean, there's the green aspect, there's the safety aspect for sure. And people didn't have a choice. They they had no choice. And so that's why this got developed. And and I made it. I heard you mention about the size, the same size of a yeah. can of canned air. That's what we did. We had the engineers hold canned air in their hand and then design this. And it's designed for a woman's hand too. It it can a woman can hold this very comfortably and use it. How's that feel, Sasha? It feels good. Does that feel all right? Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah. And we, had, well, we had women that uh, actually test it and, yep. and pull the trigger on it. It's easy to use. Yeah. And this lasts, as you know, it lasts about a good solid 15 to 20 minutes. If you pull the trigger and let it run, yep. it'll run that long. That's awesome. You can recharge it 500 times. Wow. Wow. So- one charge of this is equal to, I don't know, five or six cans of canned air. Just one charge. What? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that cow, sounds about dude. right. That's incredible. This unit, this unit is equivalent to a minimum of a thousand cans of canned air. Okay, well, that is at least a week of compressed air for me, John. <laughs> <laughs> at least that. That's a big amount of money. Yeah. I don't know what you pay true, for true canned enough. air, but probably somewhere between five and ten dollars. Uh, yeah, they're like eight bucks a can like this. Okay, is like eight so bucks. take that times a thousand. That's eight thousand dollars. So uh, it's it, it gets very big for the homeowner. It's you know a homeowner may use a can every month or every yeah. few months or whatever it is. Yeah, but a business burns through them. They burn through them. Sure. What we had happened, we've had, corporate America is, is the ones that discovered us and they use this. We had a company that has bought this product from us since we started. They bought uh, about 8,000 of these units so far. They use them to clean cash registers, ATM machines, parking meters, uh, uh, computers. They use it for everything. Oh, uh, fire alarm people. Professionals, oh. uh, industrial fire alarms. Yeah, that makes sense. They use these. Okay, John. Can I ask? So these these guys here. So if this is if, if this is really going to do, say, a thousand cans of compressed air for me, what is the? Again, I've never really thought about this. Okay, what's the environmental impact of the traditional, like blow off compressed air? What kind of impact are we having on landfills? Um, the chemicals. All of those kinds of things. You must know the stats being in the industry. Uh, the environmental impact. I used to have all the numbers. I used to know all the, 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 the major impact that it has. But I can let, let me tell you this. First of all, corporations that buy canned air have to dispose of them. That can you have when it's done, yep. they have to take it and drill a hole in the can and you don't just throw it in the trash. I know you guys probably do every, you know, a homeowner or something just throws it in the trash. Yeah. You know what, John? I, I throw it in the recycle with high do hopes. You? With high mm -hmm. hopes that it will be recycled. Yes. But I don't really know. Like, is it recyclable? I don't really know the answer to that. Right. It probably is. It probably is. But the environmental impact, it's like, um, oh, I forget how many can't. There's 30 million cans of this stuff, as near as we can tell, uh, thrown away uh, every year. Wow, man. Um, that's a big number. And yeah. and 
they um, I don't know what they end up doing with it. I really don't. Mm-hmm. Uh, other than, you know, they drill out the they drill a hole so it can't explode then once it's being recycled. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's corporate America gets points. They get green points for sustainability yeah. in buying. If when they use our product, they get points because their uh, canned air is on the, the list, the list of bad oh, things. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. That's very good. So when I think about, so if this is going to replace, say, a thousand cans of compressed air, how long is it actually going to last? Like, what? how long is the product good for? Oh, well, you can recharge it 500 times. So if it lasts 20 minutes times 500, and it, we have people that bought these back in 2012, and they're still using them. Oh, fantastic. Uh, <laughs> You use them forever. Exactly. I looked at one today in the office that was all taken apart. It had been sent back. Something happened with the bottom of the motor. It was a weird thing we've never seen before. We sent the person a new one, but they've been using it for, I don't know, seven years. Wow. Um, so they, they're they just really, really durable. Good. Good, man. Um, and what are some interesting uses um I, I mean, you can think of the uh, the practical use. I, I can tell you what I just used compressed air for this weekend, oh, yeah? which is not the best thing in the world to do, it turns out. My so husband, you were using like the yeah, traditional And my husband's going to okay. be so happy he was right. Yes. So I was dusting off. He has these little model motorcycles and they have little spokes in the wheels. And I said, "Hun, can you get me some compressed air? And he handed it to me. He's like, be careful with this. It's really dangerous. And I was like, Pfft whatever <laughs> i started spraying away thinking there was no problems now he's probably watching now doing like the touchdown dance yeah yeah <laughs> huh, i was right and he- <laughs> you know of the dangers of this product that you've got right you know that people you know people huff that stuff i've heard they- of that john why why would you why? do that Oh, they get high. They get really high. Really? It's a high. It's more addictive than heroin. You got to be kidding. Oh, yeah. To to shoot that in your mouth is more addictive than heroin. The problem Don't is, this, folks. Yeah, do, do not do this. But to shoot it in your mouth with the thing up like that, yeah. straight up, um, it, uh, it gets in your lungs. Yeah. And everybody is different. I might squirt some in my mouth and I'm fine. You squirt it in your mouth for the same amount of time I did and you're dead. You die because you can't breathe. Yeah. It suffocates you. Wow. So suffocate. like that's that. Okay. That's a whole other can of worms that we're jumping into. Oh, now. no, that's a whole nother deal. Yeah. That's- it's a dangerous thing so- to have in the home is what I guess I'm saying. And that's exactly what comes to mind as a parent. Yes. If somebody's, listening to us now and they have canned air in their home and they have children, get it out of there. And I mean that sincerely. Hide it, do whatever. If you insist on having it there, get it out of away from where the kids can get to it. Wow. So the question then, John, and I'll word it like this. Can I get high off of your product? <laughs> <laughs> we have- we, you know, we had somebody write a review and they said, I, the problem is we can't get high off of this. <laughs> it's not the same thing. It's That's not funny. the same thing. I read that the other day. We can't, problem with this is we can't get high off of it. And it so, and- oh, you can't. See, it's just, it's taking in air in these vents. Right. And these vents here and blowing it out this here. So it's the same it's air that's already there. If your room is full of hot air, which I assume your room is there, guys, <laughs> a lot of hot air, and you pull the trigger, Thanks, John. and it, it'll blow out hot air. But I'll kick aside it. That, it's just whatever's in the room. All right, let's give it the ultimate test. The X3 Hurricane canless air system with the variable speed control on my anemometer. And I'm going to start at the very lowest speed and gradually work my way up from there. So hitting about 9, 10, oh, 12, 20, almost 30 kilometers an hour. 
Oh, and you see that? It kind of dropped way down and then started up again. It, almost like it switched into second gear. Okay, increasing. Let's hit 50 kilometers an hour. Almost there. Oh, and you see, there it goes again. So now we're in like a third gear. So there's some kind of gearing mechanism in there. And my anemometer can only go up to 90 kilometers an hour. Um, we're probably going to hit that. Oh, there we go. 96. I guess, well, 100. So I guess the anemometer is reading higher than its limit, but uh, it's probably inaccurate at this point. Hitting 101.5 kilometers per hour and capping off. So I think that's uh, all my anemometer is capable of. But obviously we're getting over 100 kilometers an hour wind off of the X3 Hurricane. Now, John, one of the questions we have from our chat room is they're wondering... Uh, after you've expended the uh, 500 charges, is there a way to extend the life of the product by a replacement battery? No. How long do they want this to last? <laughs> <laughs> I think the rest of their life. Indefinitely, John. 500 times? Just to give you an idea, around the house. People that have these, I have these around my house. Yeah. Around the house, if you charge it once a month, that's probably a lot. Right. So let's say you charge it once a month. So 12 times a year, and it's good for 500 times. That's you can last do that long time. How old are they going to be? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's quite old. Yeah. <laughs> so, wow. So no, we this thing is sealed. The battery's in there. It's not a, it's not take the batteries out, put other batteries in. Right. These are high-end batteries that we use in here. We were talking about it the other day in the office, and we said it took us a while to perfect this and get the right combination between the battery, the charger, and the motor. Mm -hmm. The battery we have is just off the chart. It's unbelievable. Fantastic. So, so whoever wrote that in, tell them. You are, and it's guaranteed for a lifetime. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, does that take care of that question? You yeah. Got now, as far as, as far as the guarantee for a lifetime, what kind of warranty comes with uh, your unit? A lifetime. Oh, it is li a lifetime warranty. Okay. Well, there you go. So, That's simple and yeah. easy. <laughs> so you buy this. That person does not have to worry about changing the batteries. Okay. If something goes wrong, send it to us. We'll send you a new one. Oh, that's fantastic. Excellent. John, where can we buy Canless Air? Because, you know, there's the, the cost savings. Oh, yeah, CanlessAir.com. Okay. Is that? And, CanlessAir.com. And everything we've been discussing here yeah. is on the site. It compares canned air with our product. It shows all the different models we have. The one you guys have in your hand, this yep. X3 variable speed, is the absolute best unit we've got. Very nice. Because you can pull the trigger just a little and just a little air has nice. come out, or you can pull a lot, a lot of can air. Can I do this, John? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Sorry, Zach. Right. Here, let's, there. <laughs> but it's so canlessair.com is where you can buy it. People also buy it on Amazon. You've got to be on Amazon, right? But, but it, to go straight to us is the best way to do it. To go right to canlessair.com, buy the product. Okay. Very good. John, and I... the variable speed. Oh, yes, go ahead. Is it really variable? Yeah. Huh? Oh, my goodness. Uh, John, are you kidding me? I you didn't even realize. Up. You didn't know that? It's like a, it's like a drill. Oh, yeah. you're a sharp one. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, thanks, John. <laughs> so this is like. Yeah, so you can have the, the can, light. Yeah. And then you can have the intense. No, our other ones. We have other ones. Love Here's it. Here's one. Yeah. This this is only one speed, fast. Oh, okay. okay. Just fast. But I, for your for your viewers and for you guys, the thing you have in your hand there, this one, the variable yeah. speed, X is hurt. hands down the best thing we've come up with. And I love it because you don't always need all the power. Yeah. Right. You know, you can just spray it a little bit. That's so awesome. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that's awesome. And I mean, even the attachments that it comes with, the different yeah. heads, like Just so you guys know, gives it a lot of functionality. They're like vacuum heads. No, no real big deal. But I mean, it's it's okay. something. Yeah, it just extends it, right? But I mean, that's nice because that's something you don't get with a can of compressed air. So you get I mean, a little tube. <laughs> you have the environmental impact, but you also have the longevity of life impact. And now you've got these extensions. I mean, it's like it's everything you need. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. So, John. Thank you so much for the product, for the time that you've spent with us You're today. You're welcome. I hope, if anything, we've gotten across. I mean, yeah. Thank you. This, this is a, a product that, um, as a computer technician or somebody that's working in a computer shop, like, you just absolutely have to have it. Because you, yep. you're going to have this anyways. This, so this, is, this product is a great product. It's used by, by half the Fortune 500 companies use this product. Yeah. Wow. And that's pretty impressive. Very good, man. Well, congrats on a fantastic product. And we're, we wish you every success with Canless Air. Well, thank you. Thank you. And I again, I appreciate being on anytime you want a good laugh. Send us an email. <laughs> and we'll hook up again. Very good. Sounds thank good. Thank you, John. Thank you. Thank you. Have a, have a great night. You as well. Thank you. Get your X3 Hurricane Canless Air System at canlessair.com. I like that.